Hello, and welcome to Joyce's Applications Questions Series, JAX. My name is Matt McAllister, and I'm an application engineer with Joyce Dayton. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace screws on the translating and keyed style machine screw jacks. This is a translating jack, and the screw is allowed to rotate. It is the easiest screw to remove and replace. This is a keyed for non-rotation jack, and the differences can be seen by looking down the, the screw itself and observing the keyway that is cut out. There is also a key in the sleeve cap that prevents the rotation of the screw. Now before you remove a screw in either one of the units, you will need to make sure that there is not an extending screw stop. In order to check for that, you will need to remove and inspect the bottom of the screw. In order to do that, you will need to remove the protection tube by either using a wrench or strap wrench. And once this is removed, you can check to see if there's a stop. This one does have a stop, and you'll need to remove it by loosening the set screws and unthreading it. After removing the stop, you can then remove the screw on either one of the jacks. But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna return the protection tube back onto this key jack. Now we'll go ahead and remove the screw from the translating style jack. To do this, you will unthread the screw from the jack housing itself. Once it's free from the jack, you can then remove it and replace it with your new screw. Your new screw you'll want to carefully lower into the sleeve of the jack till it meets resistance. Then, while applying a slight downward force, you will re-thread the screw. Once you have installed the screw, if there's an extending screw stop, you will replace that and then you'll be complete. I've now replaced the key jack onto this display mount for instructional purposes. In order to remove a keyed jack, it's slightly different than the translating style. You'll need to actually rotate the input shaft to extend the screw out. You can do this by using a hand wheel like we have here, a power drill, or just by hand. In order to remove the screw, you will actuate the unit and extend it all the way out. Then, once it is free from the jack itself, you can remove it and replace it with your new screw. With the new screw, you'll want to make sure that you line the keyway with the key in the sleeve cap. Once you line it, it should slide right down into it. Then, while applying a slight downward force, you will retract the screw, making sure you line up the nut. Then, once it is retracted, if there's an extending stop, you will replace it at that time and then you've completed replacing your screw. But remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to get a hold of Joyce Dayton. We'll be more than happy to help.